discussing with someone about this whole security failure with the Secret Service. Dan Bongino served with the Secret Service. I, I I don't know how long. I don't know the whole story behind it, but Dan Bongino used to serve in the Secret Service. I um, I don't agree, once again, that he's another person I don't agree with every everything he says. I don't agree with everything everyone says, but I don't agree with everything that he says, but I feel like he makes a lot of great points. Um, so we had to go find long story short footage of him discussing this while well, he's on fox news um discussing this i want to see what he has to say and then we'll break it down if you enjoy the video please consider hitting the like share and the subscribe button i'm gonna put the link for this in the description below let's get into it your thoughts on this dan just just continue where you left off on the reaction here your thoughts on this dan just just continue where you left off on the reaction here so again, uh, open security questions right now, and this is why again I think the Secret Service uh, quality is really PR, bad. Anthony Guglielmi has to be very careful about what they put out. You know, he says in his in his in his ex post, and you can read it yourself. You don't need to hear it from me that they deployed these extra resources and technology. Okay, well, which what was ones? right? You're telling me the best technology you have was deployed, and you missed uh, a shooter 130 yards. Say it was 200 yards. The Secret Service CS team, Pete, the counter sniper teams, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure those two guys are Secret Service. We have remember that we don't always, when we go to New York sometimes with high level protectees, we'll use NYPD ESU right. counter sniper. So I'm not really sure. Right. Either way, they you're you're getting those resources from a police department, not the Secret Service. I get that. Okay. In. The question we have to ask is if that's the best technology we have, and we had a CS team up there with a shooter that. You know, we're trained out to a thousand yards in the Secret Service with the counter sniper team. Wow. How did they miss someone uh, at, at, at most. It's a football you know, one field. fifth of the way there. It doesn't make any sense. And, and, and even worse, it's broad daylight on a white roof. So, again, open questions here. Was there forward looking inter infrared deployed? Uh, was there aerial support, drones, helicopters? I didn't see any drones in any of the footage. I didn't see any helicopters. Um,. None of that, but you could see here is the evacuation point here. This is where the Trump stage was at. This is where the shooter is at, and this is where the counter sniper team is at. They have two. They have one on this side, and one on this side. So where are they looking at? When you're looking at the video, you could see these guys are pointing that way. Are they pointing at this guy? Are they pointing over here? Are they pointing over here? Like the crowd is all over here and like and you see this picture it is is so crazy it's so crazy for this man um it's like open season <laughs> open season i need to see it it's been a while since we've been out to the butler uh fairgrounds and, and butler pa but i would need to see this this topical uh graph of this is cool and all that bird's eye view but we gotta have more i gotta see it uh, you know something in person happened too, if you go back and listen to the audio i want you to listen to this um after i get off the whole point of what i was saying about the counter sniper team are they looking into the crowd or are they looking outwards what about behind this building what about in these bushes i brought up in my first live stream when this all happened on saturday that there's this whole tree line here. Is there anybody in this tree line? Like, is there police in the tree line? Is there somebody watching outwards? Is there a whole 360 degree perimeter? Like, obviously not because there's folks. The dude pulled up here. This Matthew Crook loser that <laughs> took a ladder and and had a rifle with him put the ladder against the building and walked all uh, and crawled his way all the way up here to my knowledge while there's onlookers over here because if if you look at some of the footage you could see some of the phone uh footage from the onlookers the folks that weren't at the rally but they were kind of outside of it um they could hear obviously this is from actual uh, reports from these folks that you, you know they could hear Donald Trump from over here but they could not see him all the way the onlookers are taking video of this guy and they're supposed to be police lined up like 
I seen a picture and there was two or there was three police officers by the way that the picture looked like from these onlookers here that there was three police officers there. And these folks are saying, hey, there's a guy up here. What are they doing? What are the police officers doing? This is insane, man. Let's continue. When Donald Trump, after this tragic thing happens, you'll see the Secret yeah. Service agents. And by the way, I know some of those guys personally. I want, it takes a lot to run into bullets, divorcing the security failure. So at least they did that part you know, correctly, and they knew what they were doing uh, after the security absolutely failed. But you're going to hear something if you listen closely. The, the guy mentions Hawkeye on the scene. He's talking about those two, uh, the black BDU with the tactical gear CAT element, that two-man CAT element. That stands for counter-assault team. That's a Secret Service special weapons team, a, a, a equivalent to our SWAT. So they're there. Very impressive, Dan Bongino's knowledge about this. Let's they go. They all deployed and did what had to be that the bunting around the front of the stage is probably armor. Donald Trump knew to duck. I mean, most, most people would. He saved his own life. That, that's just a fact. The evacuation did not go right. I mean, the rule with the Secret Service is cover the protectee and evacuate. The other rule is maximum to the protectee, minimum to the problem. Why minimum to the problem? Because you don't know that's the only problem. It could be a distraction. There could be another person in the crowd. So if you don't jump on the protectee, you could be looking at multiple shooters. Right. And if the one shooter is not going to hit and the target is still exposed, all it leaves for is, a, is another person or another gunman to, to lay down that fire and then they can get their target. I'm just so glad that this guy wasn't like, he wasn't out here getting the whole crowd. And it's so unfortunate to hear that these uh, two individuals are injured and one, Corey, um, is deceased. But it's like, oh, man, this could have been so much worse. This could have been some kind of Las Vegas thing. And the way that this shooter was positioned, I mean, it's open season. But to what Dan was saying, it's good that they – at least jumped up to get to him to to do a full 360 to cover his body that was on point now the delay after it and before and the the whole security failure with the snipers is a whole other thing but that's good at least they showed up to be body protection he, donald trump needs a, a full flank front left right of kevlar and body armor so at least that part the guys there, you know, stepped up there, but the failure here is absolutely catastrophic. And I got to tell you, the Secret Service should be very careful. I can tell you and absolutely confirm from the horse's mouth, from multiple people, not just one. And I saw Congressman Waltz text this out before on X. There have been repeated requests to increase the security footprint around not just the residences of Donald Trump, but the body itself. And they have been rebuffed. Like I said, I can tell you actual quotes. The Secret Service directors completely failed and candidly should resign today. Wow, those are strong words. Those are strong words by Dan Bongino out there on Fox News saying this. Like, it's insane. Um, to what he was saying, uh, he, just, he just made a great point. Let's go back to that. To increase the security footprint around not just the residences of Donald Trump, but the body itself, and they have been rebuffed. Like I said, I can tell you actual quotes. The Secret Service directors completely failed. Wow. So here's what I'm here's what I'm want to say about that. Donald Trump needs to have or any president that's still alive right now that's not in the office but they're a former president they need to have all this the security that they need their families do and the actual body just like he said the actual body of these individuals need to be protected at all times with the most legit high-end top-tier individuals on the planet to be guarding these folks uh there was, it definitely seems like some kind of failure in the security here. Um, to my understanding, is Joe Biden, this is 
President Joe Biden's wife was having some kind of meeting or event in Pittsburgh, which took a lot of the resources away from Donald Trump's rally. Well, Donald Trump, he goes to all these different rallies and stuff like that. It, it's like he, he had, this is my opinion, he had this rally. This It's either he had this rally the same day Joe Biden had her event or Jill Biden had her event the same died the same day Donald Trump had his event. Regardless, everyone can have their own events at whatever time that they choose at their pleasing, but when it comes to resources and if it's really limited and we have two high we have two important individuals in the same state less than an hour between each other those resources are going to get spread thin you know joe joe biden deserves to be protected just as much as donald trump deserves to be protected but there's something about this to where donald trump has not been getting the proper security that he needs by the department of homeland security by the white house or whatever he's not getting the proper uh secret service detail that he needs he's not getting everything that he needs especially during this time and campaign i mean my whole thing is just like you gotta you gotta get rid of all these folks and just rehire because i wouldn't trust anybody in the security detail somebody is somebody has to be compromised in my personal opinion it looks like someone's very comp compromised and not only is it compromising that like I'm I'm seeing this whole thing. It look looks very sus. These folks just just failed, man. And you got to get folks that are on point. And everyone makes mistakes, but in a at for a job position like this, guarding the most important individual, or one of the most important individuals on the planet, you gotta you can't make mistakes. It's a zero mistake. <sighs> Zero mistake situation here. Let's continue. Dan Mongino. And candidly should resign today. Kim Cheadle has failed Donald Trump and honestly failed Joe Biden too. Kim Cheadle is the Secret Service director. Yeah, it's not looking good. He definitely might want to look at uh, finding a new job. That's for sure. He's the president right now. Where's the DHS secretary? I mean, th th this is, you're blaming it on manpower? So just to be clear, we're a $4 trillion United States government <laughs> and we can't fork over enough money to keep our people alive? It is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. But, you know, all that money seems to go overseas, though. It never seems to go right here. And if it does go right here, it goes into some idiot politician's pockets instead of the American people. And, and, and obviously, instead of to where it really needs to go is the security, keeping everybody safe, not only just the president and everybody that's in our government, but keeping the people safe as well. And, and then you're sending out tweets like, oh, this is the best technology we have, really, to let a sniper 150 yards away from the potential next president shoot a piece of his ear off? Pfft, that's your victory lap? Give me a break, man. Dan, I mean, you bring up so many amazing points, and I, I just don't even know where to begin except to ask you why would the Secret Service not beef up more security for the man who is most likely to be assassinated in the entire world? Why would they not deploy more resources? Why weren't there drones over? Is it that this woman, Kimberly Cheadle, the director, is incompetent? Could there be something else there? What is happening? Is it DEI? What's, what's going on? Well, you know, Rachel, it's my, it's my job, if I'm going to give an opinion, to back it up. You know, opinions are like holes, right? Everybody has one. The difference between one opinion over the other in a courtroom and anywhere else is can you back it up? I want everyone at home, go on your phone or computer now, and I want you to look up U.S. Secret Service red ties Donald Trump. Yeah, read it. The Secret Service was more concerned about protective agents around Donald Trump. If you think I'm making this up... Go to your go to a left wing search engine if you think I'm biased. Go to go to Scroogle and put it. Oh, you're reading a story right now. They were more concerned about the color of the Secret Service agents' ties around Donald Trump. 
given the perception that a red tie was somehow support. I've got red ties. I'm a Republican. It's nothing to do with it. I just like red ties. They go nice with white shirts. That was that's an actual style. You see, I'm not gonna lie. It's like I don't even want to wear anything red because I don't want anyone assuming anything. Like it, it just you don't want anyone to seem like a target. But it is so weird that these folks are so worried about a dress code for this guy instead of protecting him and getting him the freaking resources and the people he needs. See, you see it right now. I'm not crazy. This is what the Secret Service was concerned. Shout out to the ladies out there. About. They put out, a, you know, a thousand tweets about all of this DEI stuff. Do I know that's related here? I, I don't. I'm just saying, like, there are, you have one job and only one job. Your job is keep the body alive no matter what. People were saying that there's like some DEI thing that's like overtaking a, like almost everything and all of these different avenues, jobs, societies, DEI to the push for diversity, equity and inclusion seems to be more important than getting folks who actually know what they're doing. The merit, the merit, not the color of their skin, their merit, their heart. And how they use their head. Uh, folks are, in my personal opinion, putting this DEI stuff over what's really important, which is logic, common sense, getting people that know how to do the job right, no matter what their color of their skin is. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Jill Biden, the president of Djibouti, it doesn't matter. That is your job. They absolutely, resolutely, 100% failed. Not a single excuse should be made. Not a single excuse should be attempted. This should be the subject of congressional hearings and investigations, because if they can't do this, and this is the best technology you had, then, folks, th th there's no purpose anymore. This isn't the agency I grew up in. Wow. Listen, I spent 12 years of my life there, and I'm telling you, some of the, I know some of those guys personally. These are good men and women. But this this was an apocalyptic security failure. And don't ever forget, apocalyptic failure is never a success. And the fact that Donald Trump didn't die yesterday is no reason for anybody to take yeah. some kind of victory lap. And before right. we start sending out plaudits, we better look and do a hot wash on this and find out exactly how abysmal this security plan was. Well, wow. uniquely, because you also have unique experience. Uniquely, you've been able to tell us today that the failure is on both the ground level and the media reaction, the advanced level, and seeing what could potentially be the problem, and at the organizational level, in what kind of resources were given to Donald Trump over time. And as we said, you have the experience to know. Dan Bongino, thanks so much. For That's Dan Bongino, folks. Very, very interesting. Um, I figured that that would be very informative. It, it, it was actually pretty informative uh, on my end, but... I mean, I'm kind of conscious of like how a lot of that stuff works, not necessarily like the Secret Service, but just security in general, man, just setting up security and getting the right people to where they need to be and addressing the issue immediately, not even immediately, probably addressing it before it happens. And not only before it happens addressing it while it's happening to make sure that it is snuffed out and there's no other issues because there's all these other people there as well you know you're not just worried about the president we're worried about everyone there um and this should be a thing where folks should be able to go to any rally on the uh, a biden or a joe biden rally a donald trump whoever they should be able to go to any political rfk shout out to rfk anybody should be able to go to any of these uh rallies or events on either side of the the bird the aisle and be able to safely go to one of these events go in and out without any issue without people bringing weapons and ladders and hurting other folks and doing all this stuff this is absolutely insane this is insane but back to the whole security thing i mean the fact that do i have the picture right i think we have the picture that's what i wanted to pull up before pull up the picture here there's some crazy stuff i'm not gonna lie jack black i heard jack black was uh He's like trending now. You could see 
you can't see it here. You could see Jack Black's trending right now. I seen a video of him and the dude from Tr Tenacious D, his buddy, talking about how the shooter shouldn't have missed Donald Trump, man. That that is and this guy, like, I grew up checking out all of Jack Black's movies and stuff like that. Like, that is embarrassing to be to be saying something like that. Like, 100% embarrassing that they got folks out here so mad at this dude. They're wishing death upon him. Like, wow. It, it, is, it is insane. So, anyway, what I wanted to uh, go into, I wanted to dive deep on this part right here. Uh, I don't want to put that because these dudes over here talking about using crazy words that I'm not I'm not with. But um, this is a more closer, a close up image of everything. I mean, there was a lot of people. I looked at it. I, I mean, it looked like it looked like there was like people from like all over here, right? Or like all back here. Almost. Right? Yeah, Donald Trump's sitting here. The shooter's here. The snipers, one is, one is here, one is here. Where's their... Where's their... Where's their pie at? Where's their area that they are watching here? Our, our, our sectors of fire. Where is there? Are there any interlocking, or interlocking sectors of fires between these two sniper teams? Where are they pointing at? But this guy, for this sniper team to be pointing over here, this guy, he must have been like, you could probably only see just a little bit. He's crouched. You can only see just this in the rifle. Because you have to look at it. It's angled. You can already tell that it's angled slightly um it's angled guy sitting on a he's sitting on like a little teepee and he's sitting here right at the top looking right over <laughs> so so my thing is how why was it so hard for this sniper team to find this dude like you're a sniper team i i you're gonna be looking through the trees you have this highly elevated position I want to know how, what the, di what's the elevation of both of these, these buildings? Like, it's just crazy how they couldn't see him. And, and it's, I don't want to speculate, I, 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 but just by looking at the video, though, it looks like this guy, the, the sniper team was waiting for the call to take this guy out, which is like, I, I get, I get it. I get it. There's 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 levels to this stuff. And you can't just go around popping fools, you know, without the clearance, but at that moment, I mean, what other clarification do you need? If you see a guy with a rifle pointed at everybody here or somebody here, you have to you have to be the guy to go get this guy. But see what the what I keep hearing is that the onlookers were notifying the police here and they were and they weren't doing anything about it so there seems to be a failure on these individuals if there were really three police officers standing here or any security these fools dropped the ball not only the, these folks here the secret service who planned this whole thing they should have mapped out this whole area no one shouldn't be able to get anywhere near this failure the snipers, on my personal opinion, fail. Secret Service uh, failed. <laughs> Traumatic. Like, oh man, it's 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 just it's so sad, man. Shout out to Corey Compatore. Rest in peace, man. Um, and speedy recovery to the two individuals caught um, in the crossfire from this idiot so i mean that's what i really think they should have set up a whole a whole cordon if you're gonna have these rallies in this open area like this you gotta have better security procedures 
plants. Get a whole two mile radius. No one's going to pull up on the flank, the left, the right. In all these buildings, there need to be people or an officer next to these buildings all, all around it. Like, come on now, man. But that's that's what I think, folks. That is my thoughts on the security for the event. Let me know what you folks think in the comment section below. Hit the like, share, and the subscribe button. It's your boy, Cat WTB. Yeah, yeah. So we talked about the um, we talked about the Secret Service, Longino thoughts. Talked about the sniper. I would love to know, like, they got to interview. This sniper has to have a crazy report. He's got to go through a crazy report to like break down every single millisecond of that whole day, that whole moment. Um, very questionable on like what, what's going on, man? 